Hello everyone. If you are currently passing through stressful times because you are making a switch to Godot, I totally understand your situation and I really hope things get sorted out for you. In this video, I will try my best to give you a roadmap of the concepts you should learn to master Godot as quick as possible. I hope you find it helpful. If you are new here, I make concise tutorials about Godot on this channel and I have another channel called Jumbo Software that covers concepts in software like web dev and hopefully other software topics in the future. Okay, now let's start with the roadmap. There are four steps outlined in this roadmap. The very first step I recommend after downloading the engine is to get familiar with the UI. You can watch any introduction video about Godot or read the first look at Godot's editor page in the getting started section of the documentation. By the end of this step, you should know how to use the project manager and you need to know the different screens like the scripting scene or the 2D screen. In general, you should be able to navigate through Godot's UI. This step should take you roughly less than one hour. The second step is where the real learning begins. In this step, you need to learn all the fundamental concepts of Godot. This includes concepts like nodes, scenes, signals, and the scene tree. Again, you can watch videos or you can read the step-by-step -step section and the overview of Godot's key concepts section in the documentation. I'm also working on a video that explains these concepts and it should be released soon. By the end of this step, you should know what are scenes, nodes, signals, and the scene tree. You should also know what is instantiation and that nodes can inherit the properties of other nodes. I think this step could take you anywhere from one to two days or even more to be comfortable with these concepts. The third step is to select and practice a programming language. You can select C Sharp or GDScript or another language like C++. I highly recommend that you read the scripting languages section to know the differences. Any programming language you choose will be fine. To get started with a programming language, you can again search for videos or you can read creating your first script section in the documentation. By the end of this section, you should be familiar with virtual functions in Godot and you should be able to read the API documentation. You don't need to know everything in the API docs. You just need to know how to understand what is written. I think this process can take from one to two days if you are already familiar with the language of choice. If you are familiar with Python, you will find that GDScript is quite similar. If you have to learn a new programming language from scratch, you will need more time to learn the syntax of the language before learning how it integrates with Godot. In step four, I really recommend that you start your first project. At this point, you have a pretty solid foundation in Godot. For the first project, I highly recommend that you follow along with a video tutorial or follow along with a 2D or 3D game in the documentation. As you are making your way through your first project, you will start learning other critical concepts like events, autoloads, animation, UI, tile maps, and more. This will depend on the project you are making. So try to choose a project that is similar to the concept you want to make. Depending on the project you choose, it could take anywhere from one day to one week. And that's it. After these four steps, I think you will be quite comfortable using Godot and you will feel confident starting your own projects. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.